Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and today I am bringing you a trailer reaction. However, this is not for The Sims, this is for Life is Strange 2. This is the official reveal trailer. They actually dropped this last night for me because obviously Gamescom is happening right now and therefore all the big gaming companies want to reveal their games. Also, the first episode of this is coming out next month so we really don't have that long to wait for it. As you guys know, I played the demo of Life is Strange 2, the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. I played that back on my channel a few months ago. I will leave a link to that playlist in the description down below, but we're gonna check out the official trailer for the second game. I am so ready for this. To give you guys a warning, this is not a Chloe and Max story. Chloe and Max highly probably won't feature in this game so please do not be disappointed i'm gonna warn you guys before we hop in to Maybe the trailer what are we gonna do now ah so I it is the brothers life is strange too i'm gonna play it through and then talk to you guys square enix feels like we're walking nowhere are they homeless? Oh no, what's happened? I don't think Daniel understands what's going on. I can't tell him the truth now. I just can't. Oh, a new journey begins. A big brother looking after a little brother. How am I supposed to take care of us out here? In the award-winning Life is Strange franchise. This is already hitting me in all of the feels, guys. Shooting and south. On the ground! Don't move! Oh, oh damn! What are we gonna do now? There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Oh, my babies! I love them already! Life is strange, too. Episode 1, September 27th, 2018. There we go. That is the official trailer. So I am going to go through like screen by screen and talk to you guys about what I think is going on. What are we going to do now? So this is Daniel. This is the little kid that we saw at the end of Captain Spirit. And I think he's the one with powers. I'm kind of guessing this based off the fact that at the end of Captain Spirit when Chris was like floating above the ground, he looked at Daniel and Daniel looked back at him. So I'm assuming there's a connection between those two. That's just what I'm basing this assumption off. It didn't focus on the older brother, it focused on the little kid and he is around the same age as Chris. So it would kind of make sense if he were to be kind of the main focus on it. All right, then we have a car turning over, which this was a sneak preview. Someone did tell me what this code meant, but I can't actually remember what it was, but it looks like the car is flipping over. So I'm assuming whoever has these powers doesn't really know how to control them, which again makes me think that it's the younger sibling because obviously he doesn't really know how to control it. He's only small and he's kind of like, is this really me doing it? It kind of looks like the powers that Matilda has. Like he can move things with his mind, which just reminds me of Matilda, which makes me love this anyway. So you have a car flipping over, then you have these two brothers who clearly don't have a home. I don't know if this, I'm assuming this has happened after they visit the family in Captain Spirit because they were with their like grandma or aunt or someone. They were with that woman who was neighbors to Chris, but now they look like they are completely on their own in this no kind of area. Okay. 
fucking nowhere. Feels like we're walking nowhere. Don't nod. I don't think Daniel understands what's going on. Okay, so his name is Daniel. Okay, get to the I'm juicy the bit. We know that they're homeless and he's trying to look after his little brother. I mean, this does give me the feels because it seems adorable, but I want to get to the juicy bits. Shooting in South Seattle, a police officer was found dead next to the body of Esteban Diaz, 45, who was apparently shot by said officer. I'm gonna throw it out there and assume that this was maybe a relative of theirs. The only witness, a teenager, was knocked unconscious during the incident and remains in the hospital. The details of the case are not clear while two sons, Sean, 17, and Daniel, yeah, okay, so it is Diaz, I think that says. They are his sons. They He was their dad. So he actually was shot by a police officer. I'm assuming the teenager is Sean in this story. So he was knocked unconscious and they didn't see Daniel. And then Daniel was the one who like forced the police officer and his car to roll and that's how he died and therefore that's why they are on the run. That's what I'm assuming, that's where I think this game will start, we'll find out that these two are actually related to the man who was shot and that's where their story begins whilst they are pretty much on the run from the police. So yeah, that was him on the ground right then. I can't tell who he punches. Does he punch the police officer? Because this is Sean. This is the bit I'm getting confused at. He punches someone. I don't know who he punches. Daniel looks like he's sleeping or maybe Sean just didn't want him to look. I don't really know what's happening in this scene. Like it's all a bit too stuttery for me. But basically it looks like Sean or maybe Diaz punches someone. I can't really tell that dad may have punched someone. It's really hard to make out. There was violence happening and their dad was shot, which is terrible. And then it looks like one of the boys lost control. I'm assuming it's Daniel, but that's just me kind of thinking upon that. And yeah, there we go. But then Sean looks a bit shocked. So maybe there's Sean, who knows? But someone definitely caused this police officer to die and it was one of what the boys because they are the only two witnesses to this crime. As long as we're together. They have the bond of brotherhood. And then that's it. That's Life is Strange 2. That's the trailer. I pretty much talked about what I think is gonna happen, where the game is going to start, and it will be released on the 27th of September. You guys already know I'ma be playing this. I will be covering it on my channel. I freaking love Life is Strange. I'm so excited for the second one. Yes, it's not Max and Chloe, but I feel as if their story was wrapped up really nicely, especially with Before the Storm and also the farewell episode. So I do feel as if it was the right time to say goodbye to Max and Chloe and Rachel, even though they were my babies. I think I'm still gonna have a super strong connection to these characters. One, because family is like so important and you also have the powers at play as well. So it's still got that Life is Strange vibe to it that Before the Storm kind of didn't have. I'm excited to see how you as a player will be able to use those powers. I also can't tell who you're gonna play as either Sean or Daniel. I'm assuming it's either one who has the powers, so we'll just have to wait for a release on that. Really quickly, before I actually round off this video, I was intrigued to check out the timeline of Captain Spirit because I kind of forgot, and this trailer is actually set before Captain Spirit, so these guys, I think the game will practically start after this whole incident has happened, or maybe you have to go through the incident. I don't really know, but it's gonna start with them practically being homeless and having nowhere to go. Then I think it'll span 
over maybe the time until Captain Spirit. I'm just guessing on this one, but looking at the dates, the events of Captain Spirit actually happened in the December of 2016, whereas this happened in October of 2016. So the boys are on their own and then they move into the house, which is actually next door to Chris. So maybe Chris is gonna be in this, maybe we'll reach that point within Life is Strange 2, but we'll definitely just have to wait until release. I just wanted to point that out because I hadn't really clarified it with myself and I couldn't remember when the dates were. So that's just like a little heads up to you guys to kind of put these dates in order. But what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to playing this game? Do you have any theories about this game that I maybe haven't discussed? Mine was very like bare minimum. Like I don't want to delve too deep until I actually play the game. Like I'm not gonna watch any gameplay. They actually released I think a 40 minute cut of gameplay from Life is Strange 2 which I will leave a link to that in the description down below. I'm personally not choosing to watch that because I want to experience everything firsthand with you guys but I did want to react to this trailer so if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up let me know how you are feeling about Life is Strange 2 and I will speak to you guys on the 27th of September when I actually get my hands on the first episode. Bye guys!